is the proof in the pudding. Really, really is the proof of our success or the impact we have on something really in the results. This idiom is actually from 17th century uh, England and it referred to more than just, uh, I don't know, I guess there's probably some debate whether snack pack is actually pudding or not. Of course it is, but <laughs> it's not probably the highest caliber of pudding uh, available in the world. I always like making pudding from scratch or custard from scratch. Remember uh, my son and I had a, a phase where we, we tested all different kinds of creme brulee recipes. And you could probably argue that creme brulee isn't necessarily pudding, it's a custard, but he had so much fun burning the tops of them, the sugared tops that uh, we made literally dozens and dozens of different recipes of creme brulee till we found the one we liked the best. And then we realized that there was a restaurant distributor that made a delicious one and it came in little crocks and so we kind of stopped making our own and just got that whenever we had a hankering for creme brulee so what does this have to do what does the proof is in the pudding this idiom have to do with growing and building and supersizing your business well this idiom originally referred to and pudding wasn't like chocolate or chocolate and caramel or chocolate and vanilla or any lemon or any flavor of actual pudding like we think of pudding today it was a staple in the english diet where it was usually had meat and potatoes or meat and vegetables in it of some sort and all different things and you never really were sure how it was going to turn out until you actually tasted it which led to the saying the proof is in the pudding the proof is in the pudding is in the tasting meaning that was the, the real version of it until you tasted the pudding you weren't sure if it was really good or not right kind of like my cooking. Sometimes uh, I like to experiment a lot when I cook and I throw things together. Now, I don't just randomly throw things together. I'm not a recipe cook. Some people cook from recipes, some people don't. But when I was learning how to cook, when I was younger, when I was very young, I would actually use recipes and I found that I failed with them as often as I was successful. And when I did my own thing, I had more successes. So over time, what I did is I would read I read literally hundreds of cookbooks when I was younger. And by reading them, I knew what things kind of went together and in what proportions. And so that's how I learned to be a cook where I don't use recipes. But the proof was always in the tasting. Some of the things I made were completely and utterly inedible. I remember sometimes we would have to order a pizza or go out and get a burger because the dinner that I was trying to make was a complete and utter flop. Uh, but then there were other times it was absolutely fabulous. So is and do you believe that the result is the most important thing? How we get there might not matter as much as the result. And I say, as long as it's the result you want, and as long as you went about it in a way that matches your goals and values and is consistent with who you are and how you want to show up in the world. Of course, people take and look for shortcuts and hacks and cheats and things all the time. And if they match your morals and your ethics and your values, great. If they don't and they feel icky to you, then you probably shouldn't be using those strategies or techniques. I think of that with different, uh, different marketing and sales strategies. Some of them feel awesome to me and I love to do those because I'm serving people the way that feels right for me. And others just feel like sleazy fake strategies, you know, create fake sense of urgency. Guess what? If you're offering the same thing all the time for 10 years, the only way to create fake sense of urgency is to have sales and promotions and things like that. Otherwise, you're just pretending that there's urgency when there really isn't. It's like online, and I, I never really noticed this so much offline, but online, everybody closes their cart, right? Because they know that the vast majority of people buy the last hour to three hours before your cart closes. And then the ones that miss it, whine and complain that they missed it. And it's a whole strategy and a whole thought process that feels kind of yucky to me personally. So I don't do it that way. Probably would be a lot more successful if I did, but it doesn't feel right to me. So I don't do it as I'm building and growing and supersizing my businesses online. It's up to each of us to decide what feels right for us. But my question is, is the proof in the pudding to you? Is the proof in the pudding meaning, is it how you get the results? Is it that you, the result itself or is it how you get the result and the result to you that's my question all right i'm around Malinga today have a great day if i can help you anyway ask otherwise i'll be with you around for another interesting idiom we've talked about this idiom before 
Uh, I don't remember when. I'd have to look through my past uh, posts, and I'm not going to do that. It's not really worth my time and energy. But I do know that we've talked about this before. Whenever I look up the history of an idiom, if I'm not sure I've talked about it before because we've done thousands. Uh, once I look up the background, it usually reminds me whether we've done it or not. And I know for sure we've talked about this one. I don't think I shared the creme brulee story, though, or uh, I could share a bunch of stories. Anyway, have an awesome day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.